Hi, I'm Marna, this is the Dolls Rescue Channel, and I wanted to give you a day, an update on Genesis, my bicycle riding um, smart doll. I absolutely love that doll. I can't tell you how happy I am with the little um, helmets that Darren has made 3D. I, now I want a blue one. She is in the same outfit. I, I am so pressed for time right now. However, I wanted to show you the underclothing that I have made to keep stain off of her. Genesis is different. She's not a um, shelf doll. She is a active doll. She sits on the front of my bike on a seat and moves and moves and you know, you hit a bump and she moves. And, and so we need to be really careful. Well, I don't need to show you. She does have on a pair of longer shorts. I showed that when I first showed her. I do leave them a little below her biking clothing so that it doesn't stain. Uh, and I've made her some non-stain uh, clothing that I'd like to show you. And I used a sock or socks because of less seams. The less seams, the better. The clothing smooth without a seam will not be as hard on her body as will, let me turn a seam out, as a seam. Uh, I did not finish my seams because I didn't want too many stitches in there and the socks just work beautiful for that. Also, when I use the um, anklets, I left the, the heel part for her butt, which gave her a little more fullness so that the um, sock wasn't pulled too tight. Um, I made her uh, the short shorts, the longer biking shorts. These are longer than the one she has on. I also made her, uh, let me pull her off her stand. I also made her uh, some leggings, which I think are really cute. They turned out so cute. These do not have uh, the heel pocket, and they came out so cute. I usually use these for my Blythe dolls, but I'm gonna make a pair of leggings out of this sock for Halloween. I thought it was cute. I think the little butt looks so cute in that. Then I had this fabric uh, from Walmart. This fabric came in a, you know, it came in a roll. They like folded it and then rolled it up. It's in their uh, sewing craft department. It is a weird fabric. It's like t-shirt, only more stretchy. And it stretches in both directions, which is absolutely fantastic. And the first thing I made was, Oceana was my little, stand up, sweetheart. Uh, Oceana was my little model, and what I had done, I have other uh, one-third, they're just cheap um, AliExpress dolls, and what I did was I laid one out just like this on a um, grocery bag. Can you stand there a second? Here, stand here. Lean if you need to. Of course, she's standing now. I took a one-third doll and I had later down on the counter, I used a big piece of paper, which was a uh, grocery bag, the old fashioned brown grocery bag, and drew around. And the reason is I did not want an extra seam at the um, shoulders. And it's also a fast, easy dress for beginner sewers. But I used the pattern from my other one-third dolls. And I think that's just, I mean, it's great for a shelf doll, make no mistake. In fact, I'm making another one of these for their Halloween dresses to sit over, you know, the blacks and the darks and the oranges. Um, but I think that's a little tight. So what I did, let me set her back up. Love these dolls. Oh my God, I love these dolls. I took and I uh, drew around that pattern and made it a little wider in here. I don't want it real wide. There's really a thin line between, you know, you don't want it rubbing, but you also don't want it so wide that when the seatbelt comes across, she wears a seatbelt on her bike seat, uh, that you have a turnover like this, which makes, you know, too thick. So there's a thin line there. So anyway, I made, 
uh, one in a shorter dress for her, and I made another in her, will be her holiday dresses, you know, um, uh, Halloween, Thanksgiving, and Christmas, she'll probably, maybe even um, Valentine's Day, um, a longer one, and all it has to do is like this, cover her, you know, it doesn't have to go all the way down and cover her shoes, but it could. Um, I am also made stockings, and what you do is you try the sock on your smart doll, and then you, you mark it where you want the foot, and you, and you need to give it some stretch. You don't want it too loose, but when the foot, the foot bends, and you want to bend that sock over it, then you either mark it or cut it. Your sock is turned inside out. On the whole sock, you run a seam, you know, you fold that up and make your, your uh, finished seam like this. And just do a zigzag stitch on that so it's still stretchy. You take your sock and there is a natural fold in it and you put that in the center and you've marked this, you know where to go by how many stripes or whatever color you can mark that with a pen do not, if you use a pen, I started to say don't use a pen, but if you use a pen and you've got this on your doll and you're marking, where is that, you know, where do I want that to start the legs? If you use a pen, do it below your seam so that when you come up and you want to pin this down on both sides and then when you stitch it, you Put your back and forth locking stitch. You come up on the far side of your your uh, seat, your uh, fold. Go all the way up to where you've marked it with the pen. Go to the far side of that, up higher. So put your marking in further down. Go across this three times before you move on down the foot and then catch that. Your seam, because you're putting a lock stitch in that at the bottom. When you cut that, each side works out and you have your um, hem around the bottom of your leggings. It works out beautifully. It is a good way to make either uh, undergarments like these because of the few seams or if you're a beginner sewer, if you just think they're cute, I think they're very cute. Like I said, uh, you know, that little booty couldn't look any cuter. Uh, make sure your socks, if you want the butt, uh, extra room in the butt, get it with the heel, get the shorter socks or the type with no heel, or you have to cut above that heel, which is so aggravating because it makes them about three quarter. But it works out cute and they're fun and they're quick and it's a good craft. The other thing that, um, Genesis now has is her own journal. Isn't it cute? I get so many cute things at Dollar General. We ride our bikes down there. It's uh, seven miles by the time we get there. Sometimes we ride around town to make it longer. And then we go inside and my, I rest my legs and walk around. Anyway, I got her this little journal and I'm keeping her bike miles on it. Here's the date, here's how many miles, here's what it equals. You know, I'm keeping tab. And as of the 28th of August, for those of you in on the contest, she has 83.14 miles. Uh, so she's moving quickly to the 100 miles. I'm having a good time. I get a lot of smiles on the trail. Maybe they think I'm, you know, out of my mind, but I don't care. I'm having fun with uh, Genesis. All these other girls are having fun being models. Thank you for watching. Please leave a like, a comment, and subscribe.